Hello YouTube family, this is Ravi and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Learn service now at the rate Ravi. So if you are very new to this channel, do subscribe for more contents and the today's topic is access control list which is commonly known as ACL in ServiceNow. It's part of ServiceNow admin as well as part of ServiceNow development. So admin is also using it and developer is also using it for a specific set of things. So let's get started. We'll start with what ACL is, what are the contents over here. So ACL part one, I'm going to bring two videos of, out of it. The first part will be on the introduction, what demo I can show you on the ACLs. And the second is on the debugging side of ACL, script side of ACL. So let's start with the first part of ACL. And the first part start with what is access control list in ServiceNow. So basically, it will control all the access related stuff on your ServiceNow. Means on your ServiceNow, you have a dedicated table, correct? On the table, you have record on that table. So it can access control the access of what can happen on the table. For example, it can manipulate, create, update, read and delete operations. You know that, third operations. What you can do on a table? You can create a record or you can delete a record or you can update a record or you can read the record or get the information of the record. So this ACL will restrict that information using their own functionality. So issues, I'll not go with the definition part. You can check this PPT I will put in my uh, drive link so we can perform all these operations but the most important part remember which is required to perform an operation in ACL is you should have security admin rule anyone without having security admin rule you cannot do anything you cannot do anything in the ACL part so basically it helps us to control what data user can access if let's say I have a data X, I don't want user to access the data. I can make it read only or I can uh, restrict the users. Let's say I don't want someone to delete something. I will hide that button for them with the help of ACLs. So these are the options provided by ServiceNow. So in other words, you can say that what all we want to decide as a security admin, we can do that. So basically we are on create, read, update and delete operations performing. So first thing first, what you need, you have to elevate yourself to the security admin role, which is under the profile section. If you notice, you have to choose this elevate and then security admin role. I will show you the demo, then you will understand. Then we have types of ACLs in service now. There are a lot of types of ACLs, but the most prominent one is record. Then you have field level, then you have rule label. I will leave this as it is right now. Definition part, I'm not going to tell you because it's just a bookish language. I will show you what is rule label and field label with the help of demo. Let's go back to our video demo. Let me take you back to my service now. This is my service now, as you know, dev 86573. Now, first step, just type here ACL. ACL. If you type, come down, you have this option under system security access control list. You can make it as a favorite. Open this and you will notice. The table name is Sys Security. Sys Security means System Security. Okay, and you will notice we don't have new button. I don't have new button. I cannot create it. What should I do? That's what the comes here as. You have to elevate yourself under user menu. Go there. If you are on Next Experience UI, this is uh, there on the right hand side. Click on that logo and uh, just elevate yourself make sure that you are checking this option called security admin you will notice here grant modification access to high security setting it's kind of a super admin rule okay i'll make click on okay and now i have elevated myself so that i can enter into the high security reason now first interview question which is gonna ask in the in your interview for sure let me tell you. So we have a rule called security underscore admin. Okay. A person with security admin rule can access ACLs. Can access ACLs. Now we have admin rule. Admin cannot access ACL. Can't create ACLs. Now the question comes here. Who is going to assign you security admin rule? A person 
having security admin role can only give you this role. So, in your organization, there will be someone who is having super admin privilege, that is security admin. He is only the one who will be able to assign you the security admin role. No one else can do that. Even admin cannot assign you. A person with admin role might not have security admin role. A person with security admin role is already an admin. So, he will have access to high security settings. So, remember this term. And these are the direct ask interview questions. First question. Let's go back. Now, if I go to this and refresh the page, you will notice now new button is coming up. There you go. Now you will start creating your ACLs. So what is ACL will do? You will control the data which user want to see. So basically, ACLs are of different different types. All these types are getting covered in part 1, part 2, part 3. I am going to cover today is on the record part. So click on new. Uh, takes time. Again, just type ACLs. Well, it's uh, just an information guys, if it is rotating and it is not coming up, maybe it's stuck in a loop, you can cancel the transaction with the help of cancel underscore my transaction underscore dot duo. It will cancel all your transaction which was performed. See here. In this case, you can open the ACL again. Yeah, click on new. Yes, we are on PC. You will notice when the ACL page is loaded, the first in first thing first, let me just, uh, this is the type. Yep. Okay. And you will notice by default record is selected because 90% of the time we will be playing around record, 90%. There are other types also. Going forward, I will tell you where it is needed. Then operations are again code C R U D. Create, read, update, delete. And these two things are the most important part which decide on on what thing you are doing. So here you will notice here, come down. There's a mandatory field called name. Okay. Here people used to select the table. This is called table name. And this part is called field. Table field. Follow. Okay. Let's go back. You see here how many types are there? Lot of types are there. But what you have to focus on this video? Only on the record. When we do this REST endpoint API, when we create our own scripted REST API, then I will tell you how this REST endpoint will work. So obviously lot of things to be covered very soon. So we'll create on a record and what operations we are going to perform. So it means that on any table, if I open, let's say incident, for example, what is what we are going to perform? We can either create a record, we can either delete a record, we can get an information, so on and so forth. Correct? So that's what we have. Create, read, write, delete. You have to focus only on this particular thing for this particular video. Where the execute is coming, I will tell you. Where administrator security is coming, basic this part of discovery. So you can skip it. So these three things, four things is very important over here. So now the requirement here is I am on incident table. Okay, let me close this. I am on incident table. If I open this record, you will notice I have a delete button on the top. Now the requirement here is I will create an ACL so that nobody can able to delete the record without my pump, without uh, certain rules. So We'll, we'll write that requirement, but come here. Third option is admin override. If this option is checked, it means that admin can override whatever you are doing. This ACL will not be applicable to the admins. Okay, so this ACLs will not be applicable to the admins if you check this option. If you uncheck this option, it means that this ACL is applicable to admin as well. Correct? Come to the name section. Here, if you hover your cursor, it will ask you to select the table name. We have to select the table on which you have to create an ACL or perform these four operations, create, read, write, delete. Let me select here incident. Click here. Yeah, type incident. And now, here we have a field option. So what are the fields present on the incident table? It will all 
show up over here. See active, active view, everything is coming up over here. Now there's a second ask interview question. What do you mean by incident? None. Means table, none. So here comes, if you see this PPT, uh, this one, so record uh, row level access and fee level access. See, row level access is when we when we use like table dot none or any table name dot none. Then it means that I am having access to the row. Row means these rows. So the person will have a uh, only row level access. It's like your um, house. Let me explain you in this way. Uh, let me open the snipping tool. A snipping tool. Now let's say there are two things, guys. One is table dot none and table dot star. The most asked interview question. The most asked uh, CSA exam questions also. They will ask you what is the difference between table none, table star. So there are two things, guys. Come up over here. Let's say we have a house. This is my house, for example. Okay, let me. Uh, this is my house. And this is a gate. Okay. Inside my house, I have, let's say, three rooms. Room number one, room number two, room number three. Okay. So, table dot none means I have access only to the outer layer of the house boundaries. I am inside. I am not inside the house, but I can see the boundaries of the house. I can see the walls and everything. Dude. But that is called table none. That is called low row level access. I can access the house, but I cannot access the rooms because room is locked with some key. Let's say we have three doors over here. Door one, door two, door three. One, two, three. These are locked with keys. And this lock, I am having the access with the help of table dot. Now we have table dot start. Table dot start. So start means everything. So you will be able to access the house as well as the rooms that is called your table dot none so if you see this definition in the field level assays we provide field name where we want to implement operations so for example if i use star it means that i can access all the fields incident is my table incident is my house this is my incident for example and inside incident we have column number one column number two column number three that is sort description or whatever. Now, table dot none means I can only see the list view. Access. A row level access kind of a stuff. But star means I can access all these fields. That is called table dot star. So remember this funda. So what I am going to do is incident table dot none. I am going to choose and I am going to perform an operation called delete. A person having admin uh, I am just unchecking this option called admin override. Okay. Now come down. Here you can put the description of it. Uh, here you can put the condition also. So there are again important stuff over here in service now. When you come to ACL. So there are three things guys. Check this option called advance. And you will notice down there advanced section is coming up. Okay. So whenever you create an ACL. Three things are mandatory. You have to add a role. You have to add a condition. You have to add a script. Now, if you add a rule, let's say X, Y, Z. If you add a condition, let's say active true, for example. And you have written a script something that perform connect locked in user check or rule check something. So, these three things to be true, then only the ACL will execute. So, rule should be true. Condition should be true and script should also be matching the desired condition. So basically a person having a XYZ role, the condition should met and even the script should execute to true. Then only the ACL will execute. So these three follows. These three follows this, this, this follows true. Then only ACL will execute. If any of the condition is false, any of it, then it will evaluate to false. It's like your AND gate. 
I don't know whether you guys know or not. Uh, maybe most of the people might know this. So we have a gate called AND operation. In engineering also in class 10th also we might have studied. So we have an output called A and B. Input called A and B and output called O. And this is multiplication. Okay. So if it is true and true then only it will be true. Similarly if it is true, if it is true, if it is true then only the result will be true. Okay. So this is nothing but follows a AND operation. You will read this line also. Access control rules. If all the three conditions evaluate to true, then only it will happen. Now let's go back to our ACLs. Very simple language, guys. I am choosing a type called record because we are performing on certain record over here on the entire table or on, on certain fields. So here we'll select record. We can perform create, read, write, delete operations. First operation I'm going to select is delete. Incident table, I am selecting the row level access. Not field level access, I can choose field, but here what I am doing is delete. Nobody can able to delete if he is not having an admin role, for example. So you can double click it over here and type admin. Okay. I am not going to give any condition. Doesn't matter. I can give active is true. Even I can write this. So this part is will be covered in the part 2 of the ACL series. This is basically combined series, so I will put in the development playlist. You can go back and watch. So, rule is admin. A person having admin role can only delete anything from the incident table. Right click on the top and save it. A pop up will come that will ask for your confirmation. See here, adding it and just continue. So, as you can see, role level access was given. So, now let's go to the incident table. Let's wait. The page is getting loaded. Yes, admin role, incident table, operation is none, means on the row level. Go back to the incident table, refresh the page. As you will notice, it says admin overrides unchecked, but I have added a role admin. I have a system admin. I can refresh the page and you will notice if I select anything, uh, let's say, I will be able to delete it. If I click on delete, I will be able to delete this. Correct? Now, let him persuade any user who is not admin. But he can access incident table. So you can pause this video and tell me in the comment section which role is needed apart from admin to a user who can access incident table, incident module. Comment me in the chat. So come down. Let me go to the user table. So sys user dot list. I will pick any user. Let's say uh, let's put this Einstein. And uh, I'm going to add a role to it. You can pause the video and you can put a comment. So I'm going to add a role to this user. Only access incident table. So which rule is needed? Incident underscore admin. Manager, sorry. Manager. Incident underscore manager rule is required to do to access incident table. Saving it. And the rule is added. You will notice there's a parent child relationship concept which I have already covered in my admin series. You can go back and check. Now let's go back. So rule is added. Click on this option called impersonate user. Type here uh, Einstein. There you go. I am impersonating this user called Einstein. And now I will go and type incident. So he can access incident table. See only incident module he can access. Click on all. And let's say uh, he want to delete this record. Click on it. There you go, the delete option is graded out. You cannot delete. Let me zoom in. Yeah, I am zooming my screen. Now see, this is gray out. He cannot delete it because only admin can delete it. So I restrict this user to delete a record. This is the use of ACL. You cannot achieve it without anything, without uh, ACLs. That's why service now created an ACL. So he cannot uh, see the delete button over here. 
from the rule table. Okay, so let me go back. What interesting thing we will find that this user is not able to delete any record from the incident table because an EC is running. So click on end. Go back. Uh, yeah, over here. And now if you see here, if I refresh the page, everything will be grayed out from me. I cannot do any changes. So remember, second inter important interview question. If you impersonate anyone, then your role will be vanished. Remember that. You have to again elevate yourself. So now what I have to do, I have to go back, impersonate, uh, sorry, elevate security admin. Okay. Now if I go back to that ACL, refresh the page, now it will be working fine for me. So you have to elevate again if you impersonate someone or you, you can log out to log in back and then, imperson then uh, elevate yourself. This is only for delete. What will happen if I choose create operation? Incident. None. See here, same thing. I am not doing anything. Right click and save it. A person only with admin role can create an operation, create a record on incident table. So you can see admin override. I have unchecked it. Go back to the incident table, refresh the page. I will be able to see the new button. Clear? Now let's go back and impersonate a user called uh, Einstein. Close this, close this, close this. Yeah. Incident, none. Allow create record in incident for user with only role admin. So this description is auto coming. Go back and just type incident. All. There you go. You don't have a new button to create an incident record. So this is the power of ACL. A person without having an admin role cannot even create an incident. And you see, there's no new button. Correct. So we can end impersonate over here. And uh, we need to again elevate ourselves. Okay. Yeah. Close everything. Now let's open ACL back. Yes, ACLs. Uh, this one. So a person without having an admin role cannot do anything. Now what I can do is, let me add another role. That is called SNC underscore internal. So there's a role called SNC internal is assigned to all the users. Whoever record is created, in, whoever user account is created, this role will be there. So it means that Einstein might be having this role. So let's check that. Sys underscore user dot list. Open this. And let's open Einstein. Okay. Now he is having SNC internal role or not. Let me check. He has SNC internal role. Now, as per my ACL, a person having SNC internal and admin role can do can create a record on incident table. Very simple. Go back to the incident. Go back to the first page. Impersonate Einstein. By this time, Einstein should be able to create an incident. Let me check. He should be able to. Yeah, there you go. He has a new button now. So this is how ACL works, guys. So ACN will allow certain users based on certain functionality, create, update, read and delete to restrict it or to allow user to do certain operations based on certain rules. So rules is there, condition is there, script section is there. These three rules, three things are very important over here. If you don't follow this, then it will execute false and ACL will not run. So that's all for this part one. In the part two video, we will do read and write operations. 
we will perform script operations on the ACLs and the part 3 we will debug the ACL and a lot of things coming in picture. So we'll meet in the next video. Thank you so much.